These striking structures always take our imagination to just one country, Egypt. The monumental tombs are relics of Egypt's old kingdom era, constructed some 4500 years ago. They were among the seven wonders of the ancient world. But do you know that the neighboring Sudan has more than twice as many pyramids as Egypt? Little known to the world, the world's largest collection of ancient Nubian pyramids were built more than 2,000 years ago of sandstone and granite. These steeply sloped structures are spread across three sites, namely Al Kuru, Jabal Barkal, and Meroe, and are different from their more famous Egyptian counterparts on account of their smaller bases and overall size. The most significant of these sites is the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Meroe. Situated at around 250 kilometers north of Khartoum and was once the capital of the ancient kingdom of Kush. The Nubian pyramids were built over a period of few hundred years to serve as tombs for the kings, queens, and wealthy citizens. Intricate paintings adorn the walls of these tombs to showcase the highlights of the reigns of ruling elites of Nubian dynasty. The black pharaohs took inspiration from their Egyptian neighbors as well as the ancient Greeks and Romans in order to create their own distinguishing structures. Given their location and time of construction, it's a wonder that these buildings have survived to this date. However, lack of preservation, harsh weather conditions and negligent visitors took their toll on these monuments. An Italian explorer named Giuseppe Ferlini blew up several of the pyramids hunting for Kushite treasure leaving many of the tombs without their pointy tops. Shifting sand dunes and sand storms also pose a threat to the ancient heritage sites, which is not a new phenomenon but the problem has been worsened due to climate change. Storms have become more frequent. To tackle this problem, Sudan is working with 20 other nations to build the Great Green Wall. This will stop the spread of the Sahara Desert by restoring 100 million hectares of land across the continent from Senegal in Western Africa to Djibouti in the east. The plan is to grow the largest living barrier of the trees and plants on the planet, with Sudan having the longest stretch of the wall. Hope this has been informative to you. Please do like the video, share with your friends and family, and subscribe the channel for more.